Hi, and welcome to The Hand Cell with Ron Hogan and my guest today, Tommy Veringa, the author of Little Caesar. He lives in Amsterdam, but I just found out that he just came to New York for a literary reading. And uh, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I am. Um, well, last night there was, um, there was a reading by, uh, by James Salter and Richard Ford, where I went to. But the day before, I went to, uh, to James Salter's house and had an interview with him, um, which was a very inspiring talk. So, so I'm going to, to, to write that out for a, for a Dutch newspaper. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm really glad that while you were in town that we were able to get you for the hand cell. Yeah. Um, it's, I think it's going to be really fun. And uh, basically, for those of you who have not seen the show before, the way that it works is people send me lists of books that they've enjoyed reading, and then I look at those lists and invite my guest stars to come up with books that they think that this person might enjoy reading next, and I've always got some recommendations as well. Uh, the list we have today comes from Rebecca in Connecticut, and her list includes Nicholson Baker's You and I, uh, Out of Sheer Rage by Jeff Dyer, The Silent Woman by Janet Malcolm, and Richard Holmes's Footsteps. It's a really interesting uh, collection of kind of essayistic nonfiction voices, and uh, some really interesting British voices in there as well, and I know that the, your novel, uh, Little Caesar, starts in, in England. Yeah. Um, and so I'm interested in terms of like what you thought of when you were reacting to those voices and, uh, and what you came up with as a possible recommendation for, for Rebecca. Ah, well, my recommendation is clear. I mean, all that is James Salter. That's, that's a fantastic novel. And um, it's amazing if you think that the, the novel is ageless, but the writer is 88 years old. And uh, it's such, such a deep, intense, such a deep, intense prose, and um, again, he indeed is the master. I came up with a, a non-fiction choice by a British author who really deserves a much wider audience here in the United States, I think. His name is Ian Sinclair, and he writes some really wonderful non-fiction. Um, basically, a lot of what he does is kind of this weird sort of like situationist walking tours of various points in the, in the British landscape, and in his latest book, um, Ghost Milk, which came out a little over a year ago. It's kind of about walking through East London on the eve of the Olympics. And what happened was is that East London is a area that in the ramp up to the Olympics was heavily revitalized and sort of spruced up for, you know, since the world was coming to watch. And what Ian Sinclair is doing is, is that he's looking at everything that was kind of lost in that rejuvenation or that gentrification of that neighborhood and so he's looking not just at the area's history but his own personal history with that area and so it's a very interesting blend of autobiographical slash memoir type stories and cultural studies and pop cultural sorts of things and he just does it in this voice that even as it's bouncing around in different areas or kind of fragmenting itself up you are really captivated and wants to see which direction he takes things next and if you like ghost milk i think you will like other things that he's written as well so between that and the james salter i think rebecca has some really interesting choices of books that she can read next and i hope that some of you will check out both of these books as well now if you would like me to make a recommendation for you on the hand cell what you can do is go to the handcell.com slash ask and tell me about three to five books that you like and then I will come to an independent bookstore like Word here in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, and I'll recruit an author or perhaps one of the booksellers, and we will see what we can come up with for you to read. So here from, as I say, Word in Brooklyn, I'm Ron Hogan with Tommy Varenga, the author of Little Caesar, and we thank you for watching The Hand Cell.